All right, Gabby, so you did play on the under-23 national team. Did you play with Savannah? I know she played under-23 too. Yes, she Was did. Was that the same team? So she actually played in the under-20 World Cup, um, right. but yeah. I did not make that team. Oh, okay. um, but I played for the under-23s when I was at Florida. Okay, and now playing for that, obviously that's a, that's a big deal. It's a big-time thing. Playing with, uh, with the U.S. national team, how did that feel? Did you get to travel a lot to a lot of different places? Uh, and also, how do you feel that that experience made you grow as a player? Yeah, so that is like the most competitive environment that you're course, probably yeah. ever going to be in. That's the best players in the country. So, I mean, just being in that environment was it tested me and it really got me to realize what I needed to work on as a player. And you're with so many amazing, talented athletes and you know, you see like their strengths and, you know, it kind of makes you think, well, what can I work on or how can I be like that? So mm -hmm. for me, it was great to see that because it made me realize what I needed to work on as a player and mm -hmm. having that experience and getting to play with those great players really helped me as a player. And the last question I do have um, is that I coach in a lot of girls that I've, I've coached since uh, in the past two years or so. Uh, I get a lot of uh, girls that uh, when they with high school is that they don't stay motivated and they feel like and and I know you said you play in club and stuff you get that when you play in high school it's kind of like a little a bit of a different out, out, outlook. Um, how do you get girls to stay motivated and um, also uh, my second question is is um, with as far as female soccer how do you feel it's growing in the U.S. And how do we feel as it, it will keep growing? Because the NWSL has had some good years, but it also had, uh, before it became the NWSL, when um, uh, it was something before, I forgot what the, the term was, um, it, it wasn't drawing as well after that Women's World Cup. Yeah. I mean, I think how girls stay motivated is kind of a tough question because yeah. I think a lot of it does have to come from yourself. Right. And I think... With newer generations, I think parents put a lot of pressure on their kids, and I think that's drawing them away from yeah. maybe wanting to stick with it. And um, luckily, my parents basically told me that this has to be my decision and what I want to do. And if I want to play college, then it's got to come from me. And mm -hmm. if I want to you know, be at that level, then it has to come from how hard am I going to work to get there. And I sure. think so many parents put so much pressure on their kids nowadays to say you have to get a scholarship or you have to do this, this, and this. And really it just has to come from yourself and mm -hmm. it has to come from within. Cause if really you're not into it, you're not going to fulfill your max potential. So that's really the main thing I would say. Like, I think parents just have to let kids figure that out for themselves. Right. Um, Cause I don't think it's for everybody. And that's why you do see a lot of girls who go to college, maybe only do it for a year or mm -hmm. so I think just, you know, you have to just figure it out for yourself. And like, if you are burned out, then take a break. Like, I think that's also okay too. Mm. Um, and then with the NWSL and with soccer growing in the United States, I mean, it's amazing to see. And so many girls are playing soccer now, which is right. awesome. And we're seeing NWSL, which is growing. And, you know, the Women's World Cup, which four years ago was growing. Um, mm. And I think it's continuing to grow. I still think we have a lot of boundaries and a lot of, things that we need to break through, but I do think it's growing and I think it's great. Um, I just think we have to get out to the NWSL games and we have to support those those girls. Well, with that saying, a lot of the uh, older people, Abby Wambach retiring in the past, past year or so, yeah. um, and a lot of the older girls are getting old. Even Alex Morgan's yeah. starting to get up to, what, 28, 29, yeah. somewhere in that age. We're seeing a lot of the new, a newer woman, uh, Mallory Pugh, coming up now. Uh, a lot of newer people. How do you feel like, and, and maybe you've played with some of those girls, how do you feel like the, the newer talent is going to take um, the U.S. team? I mean, I think it's... From the older talent. Yeah, I mean, I think they're so talented, and mm -hmm. I think they're amazing athletes, and they bring so much to the game. And, I mean, obviously, like, the older players are still amazing, and they still have it as well. But yeah. I think these newer girls bring a new dynamic to soccer, to women's soccer especially, and with their athleticism and just they they bring so much to the game. And I think we're seeing the speed of play get faster in the women's game because of that, which is amazing and it's great to see. And I think it's just going to continue to grow. All right. And that's all I got. Thanks, Gabby. You're again, welcome. I appreciate it.